Hey guys! What's up everybody? Welcome back. We are at week two recap. I'm with the beautiful Karen Singbeal. Karen, how are I you? I have to pay him for that, you guys. You'll it's never true. know. It's true. It's true. So we had a really good week. We had a, an, actually an exciting thing that happened last episode. Uh, we did? What? Yeah, it was awesome. Kevin was on the screen. It was so good Kevin to see him. Yes. Robert Martin. I was very happy oh. to see him on the screen. Oh, it was the best. Uh, other oh. than that, nothing really crazy happened. So. Oh, he's so dreamy. He he's is. so dreamy. I I love his new hairdo. Uh, yeah, his new hairdo is interesting. Um, yeah, it was great. It was great to see him on TV. So anyway, enough about that. Gonna... Hey, up? hey. What's up? Me and Kev are like this. I can see You're that. out. <laughs> I'm in. You're Never. out. Production kicked you <laughs> to the curb. Yeah. Karen and Kevin. Look at what I got today. Last time I was wearing my Karen shirt. Today I'm wearing my Team Bobby. Team Bobby, Team Bobby. Bobby. So I hope everyone had a good week. Uh, it's a pretty interesting week, uh, you know, Big Brother wise. A lot of things, cool things happen. Uh, some twists uh, or different rules were put into play. Um, yeah. So okay. how? Okay, let's do a disclaimer. Bruno's gonna try not to cuss like he did last time because usually everyone says how much Karen cusses. Man. But potty mouth over there. <laughs> Okay, man, we literally finished. I, I turned, I, I got, we stopped recording, and I said to Karen right away, I said, Karen, I swore a lot. I was just fired up, man. I was fired up. I was fired up. We, you know, we, we and do being the queen of cussing, I thought, really? Did you? And then when I listened to it back, and actually, people got a hold of me and said, Bruno, my goodness, wash your mouth out with soap. I said, next time I see him, I will do that. It was, you know what, I was fired up, man. There's a few twists and stuff. I don't like that stuff too much. I was fired up. But today I'm up fired up. Uh, we're relaxed yeah. a little bit today. I got to see Kevin on TV yesterday, so I'm really happy. That really felt good. Um, hey, this is this is the reason why nobody likes you. <laughs> nobody likes you. So, Kevin likes me, and you're just jealous. Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So, okay, uh, busy week. Uh, Karen, would you want to start talking about the HOH? You want to start talking about the new twist? Where do you want to start? Now, Bruno, you know I have the mind of a goldfish. It's like go to the other side of the bowl. What happened last week? It's like I'm already on to the feeds today. Okay. And I'm actually Ooh. glad you said I haven't watched feeds at all this week. It's March break. Okay. I've had my kids all oh. week. I'm lost. Oh. Oh, like you already do anything all week, and now you got to babysit. Oh, Bruno. Okay. Bruno. So okay, I wait, was... wait, wait, wait. Let's say that for everybody, thank you for coming, and that we will do spoilers at the end. So we'll give you the spoiler, fair spoiler warning. We won't talk about feed yet. So yeah, we'll wait yes. till the end. Okay, let's We're start. We're going to talk about our boys H O H. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, so the competition, H O H competition, is a golf. Uh, they have a golf club, and they have yeah. to balance the ball. And uh, I guess they they say four. You know, production hits a button. They, it says four, and then you have an option. If you want, you can try to make a putt. If you make the putt and you get it in, your HOH. If you miss, you're out of the competition. Or otherwise, the only way to get out of the competition is to drop the ball, uh, losing balance or whatever. And okay, so a couple interesting things happened. Okay, so what did you think about the two part HOH? What was the second part? Oh, where well, they said four. No, that you could win two ways. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that was kind of interesting. I liked it because it's a, one of those things where it's a high risk, high reward. You know, do you really yeah. want it that bad? You're going to take that risk. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you're going to cost your game or your your chances of winning if you lose. I liked that. I kind of liked that where they were going I with that. Yeah. I thought it was okay, kind of so cool. Trevor told me and Kevin that there was going to be this option to do that where you could win the HOH two ways. And I was like, oh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was but cool. He didn't, he didn't tell us anything else than that. But I was so excited to see like how they were going to do a new spin on it. But I thought it was good because if you wanted to throw it, you could Yeah. pretty easily. Absolutely. One way right? or another, by letting it drop or by missing the putt. Absolutely. there was. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. I liked it. It's, no. If people were thinking it through, I thought, oh, this is really good. Yeah, it was. I, I like the competition for sure. Uh, a couple interesting things happened. I guess Anthony tried to make the putt, 
missed, but he came really close. He just kind of yeah. overpowered. Went over the top of the hole. Yeah. Who else went for it? Mark, I guess. Mark went for it and missed. There's yeah, a but, but Mark said he was trying to throw it. Yeah, there was a couple I people. Think he can't putt. Yeah, there was a couple people that went for it. Uh, whatever. So we get down to, I guess it's the final three, and it's uh, Dane, Mackie, and Eddie, I want to say, right? Is that what the final three was? And yeah. Dane tries to strike a deal and says, hey, listen, guys, I just want to win. You guys are safe. Just give it to me. I just want to win. And, you know, Mackie says, nah, you know what, buddy? I'd rather just compete for it. This is friendly competition, and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But yeah. if he would have taken the deal, this whole week would have played a lot differently. And I'm going to talk to the future house guest right now. If someone's offering you this deal, okay, it's early in the game. You can – oh, hello? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm here. Sorry. It's early in the game. Uh, it's early in the game. Take the deal. Take the deal. Uh, totally. You know, you're, you're Let, that, to me, goes to why I can't stand people that don't know the game, that don't watch Big Brother to get on there because it's like that is such – a rookie worse than rookie move because he doesn't what you didn't want a guaranteed safety like you didn't want to collect your check what yeah absolutely. I didn't get it. absolutely and that's the thing is uh, he's saying listen you're safe give it to me i just want to see my dad or whatever it was he wanted to do and, and you're safe it's all you have to do and he says you know what nah man i want to compete it's friendly competition well, again, I don't want to get too far ahead, but friendly competition didn't do too well for you this week. Um, Hello, safety yeah, home. See you later. So, uh, but then another thing I want to talk about is Eddie. Eddie kind of really impressed me. He was really good. He was going the distance. Um, you know, and I think, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, they made a deal with each other and said, hey, listen, we're going to play it out, but you're safe if I win, and I'm safe if you win kind of thing. I like that. You know, it's just like, listen, we're both safe. Let's just see who wins. Kind of, I, I kind of liked it. That was kind of okay. So no, I totally agree. Totally agree. It was like, let's go and see how long as an endurance we can stay up here. Mm -hmm. But as you know, for the integrity of the game, let's do that. But let's also not be fools, Mackie, and yeah. let's keep ourselves safe. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I so, so Dane does win. Eddie tries to fix his glasses, kind of loses balance, whatever. Uh, and Dane is your HOH. Now, there's a lot of things going on from pretty much the get-go. The pretty boys. Uh, I even hate saying that alliance name. Just saying the alliance name. And Jelly Boys yeah, is just, what we're calling them. We're not calling them that. It's just, And man. like I said yesterday, it's, somebody said, did they really call themselves that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they did. Yeah, they and did. we have re-nicknamed them to the Peanut Butter and Jelly Boys because it's like that smush sandwich in the bottom of your backpack in fifth grade. <laughs> Oh, That's yeah. where they're at. Even just saying it is just, it makes me cringe. It's so cringy, cringy. So uh, Dane wins. So again, that alliance is safe for another week, which kind of messes the game up a little bit. Um, so that alliance has power again. Now here's the here's where it gets a little tricky and a little fun. Is that the rest of the people in this alliance don't like Sam? They want Sam out, um, and because you know they they feel that she's pulling Adam and controlling Adam and taking Adam away. Now, the way I would be if I were the boys in that alliance. Now, here's the thing, and this is the difference of, of I guess, the way you see the game, is I would try to embrace it. Use her as a number, but make sure you reel him in and you keep him close and say, hey, buddy, just don't forget, man, when it comes down to it, we're your number ones. You need us. You know, we'll take care of you, uh, but use her as a number. Uh, instead, they're trying to get rid of her, which is, in fact, pushing him away. I feel like it's it's letting oh, him know. It, like It's going to be the implosion 100%. of that alliance, and I am like, go, go. <laughs> Oh, implode. I can't wait till it happens. 100%. And that's that's where I find the problem is, is instead of trying to get another number on their side and say, hey, listen, Adam and her are a pair. They're going to vote together. You know, we want Adam yep. to vote this way. Adam will get her to vote with us. Use that yep. number. Instead, they're trying to get her out. And by in turn, they're putting cracks in their own alliance which, like you say, once that other side wins, they're going to sell Sam and Adam out, and they're going to just make them on, make them the target, put them on the block. And it's yeah. the way they're playing it, uh, I don't know. So the, the whole week, the Alliance is trying to get them to put up set, or put Sam up as a replacement, and that's where I want to get into. Well, first, we should talk about the nominees, right? Okay. Okay, so, yeah, so, okay, let's talk about the nominees. So 
I originally, and I have, you know, I'm, of course, I don't have to keep reminding you, Bruno, because I tell you every time I call you, I'm working. (laughs) Okay, so I get on and off the feeds and try to figure out what's going on and read Twitter and, you know, do my best, BB fan. Did Dane not say that Kira was the target to begin with and Mackie was the pawn? Yeah, that was the original plan. And that's where this actually comes into play where Dane... Dane came up with his back door after, did they not? Yeah, it, everything kind of switched. From what I understand is Dane, sw- Dane swore to Mackie, I guess on his father, that he he Thank wasn't the you. target. And he wasn't going to vote Thank him out. You. Yeah, and that's how it all started. And finally someone has said that. I'm like, no... And people were like, no, Karen, he was only doing that because there was a backdoor plan. No, that came after the fact. The whole swearing on the dad and all of that took place and him lying to uh, him being genuine, actually, with Kira saying that they were not in jeopardy was really his original plan. And somewhere along. okay, good. That's the way I see it, too. That's 100 percent. I pieced it together, and I mean, I watched a lot of the feeds, and I'm like, you know, I watched this play out, so I think somebody or, I mean, I'm not, I know I'm old and confused a lot of days, so I'm willing to admit Every that. Every day. Every day. Bruno? Uh, so, okay, you're Bruno, right. Don't make me get my fans. <laughs> <laughs> like my oh, one fan no, no, they're gonna to come. come after your three hairs. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, Mackie. You know, I love you. Mackie, Mackie was the, uh, yeah, he, he was supposed to be safe and it was whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, but back, everyone starts going back and forth all week, back and okay, forth okay. all week. And that's where the problems all started and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, okay. Now let's, let's jump to the veto competition. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, you wanted to talk about a competition last week. You said you were going to talk about it this yes. week. Yes. Okay, okay. So because I that. can tell you guys that I went to Toronto and I saw my BFF, Kevin Martin, and we've made plans, like me and Bruce and him and Peely are going to like do like big stuff in the future. Okay, you know I'm lying. But anyway. Oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Trevor, remember when you asked and I told the fans, wait, and I'll talk about that next week when you said you, you were calling total BS on they were supposed to just use the little yeah. spoon. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of the big going jokes is still like Kevin is the one that asks like a million questions all the time, right? Yeah. And like, yeah. do my eyes have to be open? And, okay. So Trevor was telling me and Kevin that he was ready to go mental because they kept stopping and asking all these questions. And finally, they're like, can we use our legs? And he's like, I thought about it and said, yeah. I mean, if it gets to the point that the spoon, like, you know, then you can start digging under with your leg. Okay, then they're going like, okay, can we use our feet and our legs? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. I was having flashbacks at that point at Kevin Martin with these like, oh, my God, how many ways are you going to ask him if you uh, can keep your eyes open? That was my favorite. My favorite. So, okay, so that's why I know, yes, it wasn't a rule breaker. They didn't. They were allowed to use their legs. But okay. the minute that these beasts, like Adam, can use his legs, of course he's going to win you guys, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, yeah, so, so, okay, so he was allowed to use okay. his legs. Okay, see, to me... The, I got it from the horse's mouth, my favorite comedian, Trevor. Then why did they have the spoon to begin with? I mean, that Well, because sense. they had to use it. That what They had to use that part, like, you know, to get to the part where they'd ha- dig under. So oh, okay. The spoon, so, you know, where they wouldn't just be able to get in there like a big donkey or kick or whatever. Okay. They had to, that was the rules. Okay, so they had to use it for up to a certain point. Yeah, that's what it made it seem like. Okay. I didn't grill him, you guys, okay. but, you know, I didn't completely put the guy with the bold light. Like, did you say this on this day? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that's that's fair. Okay, now so I want to... So there's the inside tea, because me and my BFF got to go, and you were Oh, you were on? Them. You were on the show, too? <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I think I was on the show, somebody oh. said one time, like... I actually 
was there. I saw Kevin. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I was just. I saw Kevin. But I don't know. Okay, okay. so. So, uh. So, okay, so. Oh, you know what I didn't see ever? You. I've never seen you return, actually, now Karen. that I think about it in seven seasons. Have you. Have you returned? Oh, I forgot. You were on my season for a bit. Man, I was on, I was on my second season. You were on my second season for yeah. seven weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here. But who's counting? Okay. Days? Okay. 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 We'll get, we'll, we can talk about it another time. Okay. So this okay. veto competition is, yeah. uh, did you notice anything from season five about this competition? Absolutely. It was my Oreo bucket. It was the, the definitely the Oreo bucket. I loved 100%. it. I thought it was a great spin. I loved the spinning logs because that yeah. is totally BB Shady, where they would make those logs spin so you couldn't stand up. Yeah, no, that was it was a cool competition. So they had to just to recap it real quick. I'm sure you guys have watched it, but they had a, a bucket that they run across, fill it up with like sap or water or whatever, uh, go across so this log and syrup. That's what it was, maple syrup. Uh, and run across the log. You're that's Canadian, you guys. And spinning and all that stuff, and then dump it in this bucket, uh, fill it up to a certain point, pull out this ping pong ball, blah blah blah, whatever. Okay, now uh, to talk, just to bring it all back. In season five, we had a competition, the Oreo competition. They used the exact same buckets uh, with the grates, but people were dressed up in big Oreos, and they had to fill themselves up with milk, go over, squeeze into the bucket. Same thing. Dylan ended up winning it with five thousand uh, dollars. Fun fact about that, Karen. Do you remember what happened in that competition, the malfunction? Oh, what do you mean? Like a couple times. I remember specifically when the milk thing got detached in the pool. I was up in the pool. And remember my knee was still cut open from me want veto. So I didn't have a knee pad on, I don't think, in that challenge. And so I could hardly get out of that pool. And then flip-flop floaterville... <laughs> Cass started talking to me when they were fixing the milk thing, and Cass was talking to me, and Flip Flop Floaterville was in front of Cass, and I go, no, I, yeah, I'm, I'm I not talking to you, excuse me, I was talking to Cass because she's talking to me, and I was doing that because we didn't have mics on, and Flip Flop Floaterville totally freaked out of her flipping mind, went up and down the bleachers and cried to all of you about what a mean bully I was and this and that for saying, excuse me, I was talking to Cass and not you, Flip Flop Floaterville. Is that what you're going to tell the uh, fans? That, that's a difference. I was going to say something else, but I think it was your tone, Karen. I think you weren't so polite about it. But anyway, okay. I have the tone? The other thing I was going to talk about was how, do you remember Emily's bin malfunctioned? Oh, yeah, totally. It was so, leaking. Yeah, so, fun There's fact. That you had to stop on, remember? Fun fact that, you know, the viewers at home won't know is in that competition, Emily was dumping her, her or the milk into her bin, but it was never filling up because they left the but valve open in the bottom. The valve was open a tiny bit, and so it was leaking back out underneath. Yeah, so everything she was putting in was coming out the bottom. Anyway, so a little insight there as well. She had zero chance of winning simply because her... her Bin was leaking. Okay, so let's get back to season seven. No, no, no. Remember, they, for integrity's sake, I mean, Big Brothers, totally, I think they have the utmost integrity to try to be fair. They did a top up, don't you remember? They no. went back and. Yes, they did, Bruno. No. Karen, Bruno. no. Karen, at the end of the. Okay. I, I, okay. Remember, they looked at the cameras and they could see how much from when they went back in time and looked to see. How much had dripped out? No, it was the end of the this competition. Is why production doesn't like you. Karen. Don't be shady. Production went back and looked, and they would net Bruno. Karen, it was the end. Okay, it was the end of the competition. They said they're gonna look at it. We all waited there. Look at it. And they said they determined that she wouldn't have won. It never yes. happened. Move on. That's what it was. Okay. But they knew where the time stamp was from when it happened was is when we were jumping on him it got pushed and that valve got opened i don't know like, anyway it doesn't matter do it, you would have won is what you're saying shady no no i'm not saying she would have won i'm not saying she would have won oh it doesn't matter okay so bb stop sucking up to big brother you're not going back karen stop sucking up okay. they don't like you either <laughs> okay so listen stop sucking up to them okay you 
You shut your pie so, hole. Okay. So anyway, the competition, which we were trying to talk about for 15 minutes. Uh, okay. So Buddy wins. Uh, who wins? Adam wins. You don't even remember? Adam wins. So Adam wins. Okay. Him and Matt, and they were never. Literally, we're like two buckets apart from being able, and you know how you got to get your fingers in there, and Mackie couldn't get his in. They want, both went back for one, and Adam pulled it out. I mean, it was close. It was close. It was close. Okay, so here is something very important I want to talk about. Anytime someone wins a competition, you can tell by the reaction of the other house guests if they're working with them, if they're not working with them, if they feel safe about them winning, whatever the case may be, it tells you a lot. So Adam wins veto, runs over to the, the bench, Sam jumps on him, and even Dane says, buddy, her legs were up to here. Uh, it, it goes to show, and she's hugging him, and, and, and they're just celebrating. It's so awkward. Everybody's like, like, what the hell's going on? He even says, chill. Like, it was bad. It was bad. But, but, if he didn't win, and uh, she could have gone up on the block. So she's happy. She probably caught wind of it, I'm sure. And she's happy about it. But at the same time, it really... And it, I know at this point, everyone knows their, their pair. So to say it's putting more heat on them, probably um, not. Yeah, I probably. don't know if everybody is in tune in that house that knows really what's going on. Because he does a lot of shade in her as well. Yeah. I mean, he, he he's not the kind of boyfriend you'd really want in the Big Brother house. Well, he says he's loyal to the four guys. I mean, it's... I think well, he's, kind it's of he's really being an underlying shade. Like, then just break up now and just go on your own because I don't like that stuff. He's like, playing the game. And, and I know a lot of people don't like her, but... And him, more so probably him than her, but they're calling it a gross man's. But... I just don't. I don't know. I don't like that. I mean, you know what I mean? You, he, If he's not sincere to have her as a, a legitimate number, just throw her under the bus and keep running over her now. Like, don't do that. See, but Karen, this, the way I got to, you got to do what you got to do to win. And, and this ha this isn't the first time this has happened. This happens no, all no. the time. I oh, just look at it like this is the kind of person you are. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do to win. But it also, the cream rises to the top and it shows what kind of shit you really are when you do crap like that. Like all the stuff that goes on. It's like, mm, yeah. you know, listen to people, what they say and how their actions are. It's like maybe that's just the kind of person they are. I don't know. Me being an intuitive person, I'd be like, I don't like him. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm saying he's doing what he's got to do. Right now he has a girl that's crazy about him and that wants to be his ride or die. She's all in. And he has these four guys or three other guys that are all in. He's in a – as much as he's a target, I think he's in a decent spot. Um, I think he's in a really good spot and I think he's in a really bad spot. It kind of depends on where the power sits. But, um, hey, that's how he decides to play the game. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but that's how he's choosing to play his game. And that's – that's just I know, but you know what? I don't – I mean, I'm just – I'm not a fan, so, and I'm sure the guy will be really nice and never talk to me on the outside, too, so it's cool, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just not a fan. Yeah. I'm sorry, it, and not that's, a fan. And that's fair. But, but the thing is, is in this dysfunctional world of BB, you cannot like people in the game and then like them when you come out. So. Oh, it happens all the time. It happens all, all the time. Because I hated you in the house. You loved me, Karen. And I like you this much now, but I really like to drag you more. I know. You have fun with that. Hey, I'm good about it. So I think that's what you like about it. I'm good about it. So I'm too good I'm to you. That's the thing. I'm too good to you. You know, those are the ones I abuse the most. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Buddy wins the veto. Nothing gets done. Nominations stay the same. The house keeps flipping back and forth, back and forth. Who the target is, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so did you think that the veto had a chance of getting used? You know what? We didn't talk about something very important that I want to talk about before we get into all this. Okay. What are your thoughts on HOH not being able to play in the veto? I want to know your I, thoughts. I like it. Okay. Here's why. I think that when you have a season like this where you're going to have really comp beast kind of guys and they're already seeing how they're going to dominate this game, it's going to be really boring season. So taking that one competitor out and putting in one of the smaller, medium character people to play is going to give it a little bit more entertaining value than if you just had these beast 
winning HOH, winning the veto every week after week. I think it could get really redundant and boring. And I like expect the unexpected, even though I know that's not our catchphrase. I like that, Bruno, and I know you hate it. I'm sure. No, I, I got. I have things I like about it, and I have things I don't like about it. I, I think it's okay. As a business, on a business side, I think it's fantastic for the brand as a business because think about it, okay? In a week where the HOH is HOH and then he wins veto or she wins veto or whatever, okay? It's a boring week because it's very predictable because the, who what HOH is going to put up three people in a week? They're going to put their two targets on the block. He wins or she wins veto. One of them goes home. They don't use the veto. By the HOH not playing in the veto, it makes for a more entertaining season because there's a higher chance that the nominee gets to save themselves. It's, it's, there's only five people competing. Usually usually in a veto, the only people trying to win are the HOH and the, and yeah. the target. Everyone yeah. else is always trying to throw it. So this way, it gives more of an opportunity for the veto to get used, uh, to be won by someone else, and to be used. So that's... Well done. Unless there's an incentive like there was in like the Oreo challenge... Or season six, for whatever reason, they got to win like a prize every flipping yeah. week. Then it makes it where people will try harder because they want the prize. For sure. For sure. No, absolutely. But in the most cases, there's only two or three people usually gunning for it. And I think by taking the HOH out, because the HOH is usually one of those people. Uh, so by taking the HOH out of it, okay, it gives a higher chance for the, the, not the, the target to save themselves which in turn adds more entertainment because the HOH then has to put someone else up, puts more blood on their hands. You know, it's, it's, it's yep. for the business. I like it. Okay. I definitely like but, it for the brand, for the but players. The only thing is, is will, if the HOH doesn't win it, usually the, if the back door plan was going to happen, usually it would happen with the HOH implementing taking them off and then replacing with whoever the back door i don't know now if that will happen because of this if there will exactly. be any back doors exactly so but so we could go either way like but i do like that they've kind of mixed it up i'm you know i i don't want it to be boring see and there's and here's my other side of it okay so as okay. a business it's great i think it's a great idea i really think it's a good idea as a player I don't like it because think of this, okay? This game is a, a game of survival. You want to get to the end. You want to take the people out that are in your really? way, okay? That's the point of the game. So if I'm HOH and I put two people on the block, I'm putting my game on the line by doing that, okay? And now production saying, well, you know what? We're going to give them a higher chance to save themselves and screw you and save them. That's the part I don't like is now to get to the end it's not about strategy now. There's a lot of luck involved because you can put your targets up and they can just be saving themselves every single week and you don't have a chance to kind of put the nail in the coffin, the final nail in the coffin. That's the part I don't like is part of the game part is where it's like it really interferes with the player's game. And that I don't like because at the end of the day, we all know the business comes before the players. The big brother cares about their brand before they care about you or me or any player. And you don't have to answer that because you're still in suck up mode. I'm past that. So listen, they care about their brand. How about that I'm just a nice person and you're listen, not? I'm a very good person. They're, they care I'm about their brand. I'm just texting me right now and I just yeah. told her I'm on a podcast with Bruno and his shady ass is shady today. <laughs> I'm not, man. I'm, I'm just being real. You are. Oh my god! I'm just being okay. real. Okay, hold on okay. a second. So the blood veto. We is, don't even know. Okay, I want to get okay. it. Go ahead, go. Well, the blood veto is going to be where the veto holder can replace, because that's the spin I would have liked to see. That the veto holder can replace, and so overriding the HOH. It's like if we're gonna go there, let's go there. Okay. Like but, if we're gonna mix it up, let's mix it up. Okay, now. If that is that what the blood veto is? I don't know. That's I don't thing. really know. Nobody Trevor does. Hasn't, and that's I the don't part think that they've ever announced it anywhere, have they? And that's the part that's sickening. That's the part that it, it doesn't make sense. It's like it's one of those things they're gonna throw it in when they hey, want to save who they want I, to save. I'll just tell you guys. I'll tell you a secret. I tried to get it out of Trevor. Okay, but nope. th this is my point. So, so it isn't what we think it is. Is what I think is he's. It's it's not what I think it is. Is that it's going to be the veto holder re names the replacement? I got the See, feeling that, I'm wrong. That's what I when I 
saw it week one or whatever episode one. Cut the blood. That was my thought of it too. That whoever wins, it can make the nominees for sure. But the yeah. part that I don't like is how they don't explain. They should day one ex put the cards on the table. I know. Tell us what it does, so there's I no agree. funny business because it's going to be week six or seven. They're going to want to save someone in that house. They're going to yeah. throw it in. They're going to make the rules up as they go just to save who they want to save, and that's the shit that drives okay. me, drives me nuts. I know it does, and and we all know that that happens. Hundred percent. That well, hello. I caught Kevin coming out of the flipping hatch. Uh, William. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Duh. Sorry. It's okay. You're obsessed with See, you even talked to <laughs> <laughs> man, William. I somebody said that I didn't catch him. I caught no, him. You hundred percent caught him. You even told oh, me about I it in the house, man. Thank you. Yeah, you told I me. told everybody before we got out of the house. If you go back and watch the feeds, finally when I came clean and told Ike and Dimitri from beginning to end, they're like, why didn't you tell us? I go, because you were mean to me. And you didn't believe anything I was saying at that point. We were sitting, that was, we, we were sitting in the room all yeah, week. We were just talking. You're like, I saw William come out of the wall. And you literally took me downstairs and you showed me the hatch that he came out of. Yeah, and, and sure enough, man, that's what it was. Anyway. Anyway, okay, but this is the part I don't like about Big Brother. It's like okay, they throw in these things, and they don't tell the audience until it's convenient. I don't okay, like that. Okay, so, so this is also this week you didn't like the fact, and we haven't talked about this. We haven't talked all week except a few texts where I'm like, leave me alone. Just stop. Yeah, her. okay. <laughs> She's harassing me nonstop. Okay. okay. Bruno. You harass me. You harass Don't go there. Me. Go, 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 I'll go. drag your three hairs. Go, go on with the story. Go on with the story. Go. Don't, don't make me do it, Bruno. Go. Okay, go. listen. Corey didn't get to vote. Yeah. Why? That's the stuff that drives you nuts. Because we didn't know whether she could or shouldn't. And on the feeds, she was saying, can I vote? And they were saying, we'll get back to you. So it was like... How was the vote going to go if Corey was going to get to vote? That's the stuff that drives you mental. Exactly. I they, know. They, production's paying attention when these people are talking. They know where the votes are going. The, you know they ask you before you go to vote. You know they know where you're voting. That's why the order is in a certain way. Can I tell you something, though? Do you remember the week that Ike and Jackie were on the block and Dre was trying to flip it so that Jackie would stay and Ike would go? I remember being asked in the DR and like, if you had to vote right this second, who would go? And I'm like, Jackie's going. And everything in their voice let me know that there was a flip happening so hard, even though they didn't say anything like that. I just knew that it was like, no, it was going to be a 4-1 mm -hmm. for sure. And I was like, that made my spidey sense go into overload, like with William and everything with Dylan and yeah. just like, so one thing about Big Brother that people don't realize, production doesn't ever tell you stuff like this, but if you pay attention and you have less spidey sense and you're listening to the questions, there's a story being told Absolutely. of what's going on in that house that you can figure out more so even though you're so paranoid and so crazy like i am on the most days anyway you always know what's going on behind the scenes yeah absolutely you can piece it together because they're trying to put a story but together you don't really know because you don't know so here's the you just know that some shit is up okay now here's the thing too karen i, I don't know if okay when you go before the eviction, you they bring you in a room and they ask you, they bring in the diary room and they ask you, who are you voting to evict? And that's how they know the order. Do you think these by chance, these these uh, votes every week that end up, you know, the last vote is the one that's the deciding vote? No, because they know who you're voting for. That's why when they set up, they tell you when you're sitting in rehearsal, okay, uh, you know, Karen's voting, then it's Bruno, then it's whoever, Jackie, then it's oh, Kevin. Production value is like, we're going to yeah. hang, you know. They but, know but, where you're going to vote. But you say that, but yet none of us discuss this. You and your ride or die, poor, look what you two did to poor Neda. I mean, you guys didn't even give her a glimmer. No. We never discussed that. Yeah, I mean, that's me and Ica had, me and Ica had discussed it. You guys didn't discuss it, but you say that, and yet you and Kevin jump ship on Netta, your best friend. Like Netta, I hope you're watching this. Shady, shady. It's not, no, 
See, that's I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because that's not jumping ship. It's called there's a game to play after she walks out the door. What's the point? Okay, so put it this way. Me and Kevin vote to evict, who was it, Dylan? Who is she sitting beside? Jackie? Who is she sitting beside? Yeah, you don't even remember. Dylan. No, I don't remember. So yeah. who is she sitting beside? Dylan? Okay. Yeah, okay. Jackie flip-flop floater bill okay. pulled herself off. Okay. So, okay. So say me and Kevin <laughs> vote to evict Netta. Or sorry, vote to evict Dylan. And okay. we know Netta's out the door. There's nothing... Hey, but Okay, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. You're just proving your theory about production because production didn't know this was going to happen. No. Like, did they Did they know me and Ica were saying? Did they see that me and Ica would pass by each other and say, if there's an opportunity, she's got to go, oh, yeah, we're on side no, with that. That's a double but carry. That's different because it happened so fast. You weren't there. Like, I'm just saying, don't act like they line it up like a row. 100% they camera. do. Karen, hundred man, I've done this twice, man. hundred percent, they know where your vote is, and that's why the order is the way it is. Did they know that you were going to turn on your loyal leader? What are you talking about, Karen? Okay, if you just listen for two seconds, I can literally. This is like common one hundred and one. Ned is out the door. Why am I going to vote to evict Dylan when it's going to be a five to two or whatever the hell the vote is? And then now Dylan's like, well, you voted to get me out. You're not on my side. That's common sense. Well, and Ned is leaving. Game. Ned is leaving if I vote for her to stay or not. It doesn't matter. There's a game to play. Yes. Anyway, next. That's co Come on. I got to teach you. If you listen, if the very small, I'm talking this small chance to call you back. Talk to me before you go in. I'll fix you right up. Okay, next. Uh, okay, so. What did we get? Where are we at now? So he doesn't use the veto, but he doesn't use the veto. We're down to the vote, and it's a tie. We, that's why Corey couldn't vote. Yes. And it went to, well, we know from watching the feeds, it flip flopped back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. These people didn't even know where they were voting. They are the biggest bunch of flip flop floater bills ever. Talk about indecisive. I'm like, oh my god, you're driving me mental. So, um, actually, before we, yeah, you know what, we'll talk, okay, we'll get to this in a bit. So, it does get into a 5-5 tie, which I think, has this ever happened before? Other than, like, the final three or four, whatever it is, when it's always, you know, the, you know, when it can, it's varies. But at this early in the game, I don't, no. I don't think that's ever happened this early in the game. Who, what, exactly? Like, for what? reason would they show their cards at this stage like hello yeah. so it is a tie and then dane has to make the deciding <laughs> vote now week two week two we've only had a week of feeds i feel like i'm six weeks in on this bunch it's true it's true it's so shocking okay so dane has to make his vote he did swear on on his on his father and everything that he wouldn't vote out mackie he wasn't the target and he had to vote him out what are your thoughts on that Here's the thing. Like, again, you keep saying you're paying big brother. I think, you know what? You swear on your kids. You swear on your father. Like, that's big brother. I'm sorry, but I don't really care. I don't think that that speaks to that kid's character. I don't think anything other than he got himself in where he didn't expect. I think when he made that deal with Mackie, that is how he truly felt, that he wasn't going to go against his word. He's got pressure in that house. He's trying to play his game the best that he can. And he had to flip on his word and and go with his boys, whatever. I don't yeah. really care. The people making a huge deal out of that online, I go, eh, I, I'm okay with it. See, for me, there was one thing I would never swear on. And it just that was one thing I said was my kids. That was one thing I, I would... I swore on my kids in that house, which I did. It, I wouldn't have broke my word. Yeah. But that is who I am. And even when Dylan said that in Buzzkill he wouldn't evict Kevin, he wouldn't put Kevin up because he swore on Haley, I was like, did everything in my power to try to get him to go against it, and he wouldn't. So I get it. I get yeah. it because I did it. I get it because other players. But I also get it with this kid's instance. I think he did have those best intentions. But I'm definitely not going to hold anything against this no. kid any less than him. Personally, sure. Karen sure. Singbeal. Doesn't give a shit. I, and I, I, I'm glad you said that because I, I agree with that. The kid even okay. said, he said, listen, lessons learned. He learned from it. He won't Please. make that mistake again. And, hey, that it's a kind of game where you have to learn as you go. You're going to make mistakes. Learn from yeah. it. And he did. And, and you know what? I, I, I agree with you. Can't hold it against the guy. He, he didn't know. For once. This is the only time that's ever going to happen. You guys, you heard it here. So he... So... 
code. He agreed with me. <laughs> he made a mistake. He's going to learn from it, and he's not going to do it again. <laughs> hey, that's all you can ask for. That's all you can ask for. So and you got to start learning from your mistakes and your bad. <laughs> my man, uh, man, I, I, man, my mistakes are disastrous. I'm so glad I have myself to crack myself up. Oh fuck, love it. Hey, do you remember in the Wizard of Oz when those things came and flew to get the witch? Yeah. That's what I feel like your fans do to me on YouTube. Oh come on, man! <laughs> you know, come on, <laughs> come on. Exactly. Listen. You know, listen, Karen and I we're we we're, we're friends. We're a great friend. I, I wanna I'm glad you brought that up because I wanna make sure that everyone knows Karen and I are actually friends. We we, we jab friends. Why do you keep lying listen, to these people? We jab at each other, but it's love. Why do you yeah. lie? Okay, you know what? Drag her guys. Everybody drag her. There we go. There we go. No, don't do it. It's we're we're friends. We just poke at each other. Whatever. Don't take it personal, guys. Oh it's God. it's a love relationship we have. Save me. I want to be the damsel here. Let me get my hair, Bruno, so you can save me. Man, I'm just, see, no matter what I do, it's wrong. So, you know what? <laughs> take her out, guys. Take her out. So, okay, anyway. Okay, so that is uh, pretty much the week. Um, yeah, Thanks. Corey can't vote. Mackie gets evicted. Oh, actually, yeah. So that's what it's so it's a tie. Mackie gets evicted. Thoughts on Mackie? Whatever. Mackie's wishing. I I think in the I can't remember, but I think I said he was gonna go home before jury. So he didn't disappoint me. He went home where I thought he would. Yeah. But he didn't have to. He got his own self and his own inexperience. If he would have just zipped it and listened to people that knew what they were talking about, mm -hmm. he'd still be there. Actually, that's one thing I forgot to talk about I wanted to bring up. So Dane talks to him and says, hey, buddy, listen, I know I put you up. If you win HOH next week, who are you putting up? And he says, you. Are you? Like, okay, that was like the biggest senior rookie moment. Oh, and man. I, this is why I hate when people don't watch Big Brother. At least smile and lie to their yeah. face. Cheeky, something Say, like anybody oh, but you, anybody but you, isn't it? I mean, that's why Dallas tried to get me up there with Demetri in week two. Go, well, you have to put her up there because she put you up there. It's like, no, play your own damn game, don't play that dumbass's game. Like, Mackie, I mean, yeah, now nice. he's out, not even getting his stipend back to poeting again. Yeah, so okay. So that's that. I Do you want to see you? I actually liked you with Kiki and Esty. I actually liked you, Mackie. You grew on me. Okay, Karen, relax, Karen. You're getting a little hyper here. Do you want to talk about Kevin's uh, cameo on the show? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Okay, so they do. So Mackie gets voted out, and then Wendy's has this thing, and it's a, a competition, right? It's like a memory competition. And it's who? the have not, honey. What it's was it? For the have nots get to eat. Oh, that's what it was. See, I don't know. I, I was too. I was so happy. To, I was so happy. I crossed the bowl. Where was I? I was so happy to see my boy Kevin on the show. I totally stopped paying attention to what it was for. So okay, so Kevin goes into Wendy's and orders himself a burger. He sits down. Some fan walks up and starts talking to him or something and wants to sit with him. I don't know. Wanted his autograph. Wanted his autograph. And the questions are about please, Kevin. Please like me. Don't drag me anymore. And please, Kevin. So then so then so then the, the, the house guests get this question, a few questions about Kevin and this fan, uh, about what they said and this and that. Uh, you are so Eddie, I am going to drag your ass with Ike in a few minutes, big time. <laughs> so, this crazy fan, I don't know who she was, but uh, oh, yeah. it was nice. It was nice to see you on the... Oh, you know what? She did look she like you. the person that made it farther than you did. Okay, Karen. Okay. We could go there another time. Okay. So, I already said earlier on this podcast that the point of the game is get to the end, and that's what I did. So, I still can't get any credit, Shady. You got there, but did you get there? Lady. Did you get there? Anyway, whatever. Well, that's whatever. Okay. Anyway, I was waiting. I was trying to get my Wendy's burger and get back in the car, but, you know, he's so needy. He needed me to sit with him and talk about Big Brother. So, go ahead, Kara. Tell us about it. How was it? What, what were your thoughts awesome. on it? It was absolutely awesome. 
I got there. I go to meet my friends and I had to pick them up to take them up to my room. And I open the elevator and who's there? But Kevin Martin, <laughs> swear to God. And <laughs> Kevin Robert Martin, he's like, Karen. <laughs> and it was like, oh my gosh, it was awesome. It was really awesome. It was great seeing him. I made him the next morning get me a coffee. I tortured him like, uh, would you expect any less from oh, me? Oh, I bet. I bet. But didn't have to give me a lot of stuff, of course, that I was saying didn't make it. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. It was so great to see him. Now, and, I haven't, uh, no, from just from what I saw, you could tell kind of by the end he was a little frustrated with you. Is that accurate or what? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. Why would you even say that? He, just the, to I don't know, his, his. You want to keep it going, don't you? You just, you just <laughs> want to, you just. Poke and Can't. poke. So it was you're really good to see you on my TV. You're a bad rash that it, won't go away. It was a re it was really good to see you on my TV again, Karen. I was very happy. Um, I tell you, did I beforehand? Well, when you told me you were in Toronto, yeah, I was like, okay, something's up because Karen doesn't just go to Toronto for a day. Uh, I I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Well, whatever it was, I don't know, whatever it was. I didn't know exactly what it was for sure, but I was like, okay, something's up. Uh, Karen's in Toronto. She doesn't go to Toronto like that. So, And you didn't tell me you were in Toronto. It was kind of weird. So I knew something was up, but I didn't know what it was. Maybe I didn't want you to drive down from Ottawa and try to find me. Karen, fun fact, who was the first person you hung out with after season five? My girlfriend Janice in Ottawa. So Karen and from Niagara Falls was so kind. Her and Bruce were so kind. They took my bag, my big brother bag. Exactly. They... All the good people. Why? Because you, hoarder episode, cleared out the <laughs> jury house of food. It was so packed full that he couldn't get it on the flipping plane. And me and Bruce had a rental car because we were going on a tour. We showed up and we had to drop off Schleppy's bag in Ottawa because he stole all the food from the jury house. And that, folks, is the truth. I might have borrowed a bit of food. I might have borrowed a bit. Yeah. So that's. So so Karen truth. comes to my house. I saw him in Ottawa. So Karen, right from Niagara, I rep five. There's now nobody cares about you in your house. Comes to my house. We went out for a nice dinner, nice couples. It was nice. Huh? Who bought? Well, man, you just won 25 grand. Of course you bought. Of course you bought. You just won 25 grand three days earlier. Of you course you bought. You might be buying. Like, tell, don't lie to these people. What are you talking about? You bought the dinner, didn't you? Yes, of course. Yeah. And if you showed up here, I'd still be buying. Don't lie to these no. good people. No. If I won 25 grand, you're damn right I'd buy you a meal. You're damn right I'd buy you a meal. Anyway. Anyway. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Let's. Okay. Now we're going to go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you've been here. And I'm sorry we get sidetracked on our season, yeah, but. Bruno. It's Karen, man. It's Karen. You guys this will be on SoundCloud iTunes, Bruno's YouTube station on a playlist on my station. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to go to spoilers. All right. Thanks, guys. So if, you, if this is where you end here, if you don't want to hear the spoilers, thank you very much. And uh, be sure to come by next week. Hit that subscribe button. You know we're doing this every week. Uh, Karen uh, loves driving me crazy, <laughs> and she won't miss this opportunity. So thank you, guys. For everybody else, Karen's going to tell us what's going on because I haven't had a chance to watch this, uh, any feeds this week. So it's all on Karen right now. Karen, it's the Karen so, show. Let's go. So the backup of that these people literally could not make a decision. They didn't know what they were doing. They flipped around so much. And it was just, it, it was, I can't watch it anymore. <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite frankly, it was like, make a flipping decision. I mean, as a business person, you have to make a decision. It's like clearly these people could not make a decision in week two of who to go home. It There should be a pretty clear line who's going to be better for your game. I mean, just saying yeah. from playing. It should be, there should be one that's going to be better for your game. They Absolutely. Make a decision, okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. You would know if you're playing, you guys, who would be better for your game. They couldn't decide. It's like, oh, my God, the muddies are so watered. So, HOH, we saw, they watched, what do you think that they played it to the end? That was awesome. Yeah, that was really good. 
HOH is Chelsea. Yeah, that was really good. I like that. I watched that. Yeah, so that's that's what I know. I know Chelsea's HOH. Okay, so I am totally, totally, totally not feeling Chelsea's game with her and Adam and Sam and Kira seem to be the tightest of her group. Okay. And then she has her side alliance that she's made with Eddie where they've called themselves the, like, I don't know, you can't see each other. I don't know what it is. But they made this cute little dance and stuff. So her and Eddie, I think, legitimately have, and I love Eddie, so I'm like all for that. And I don't dislike Chelsea, but I just don't like that she's with the gross man. See, but that's that's a game move, and I think that's a fantastic game move because no, but I just don't the, like it. They're a target. They're a huge, and if anybody <laughs> see, but if I, I get it, and if anybody wants to take a shot, they gotta go for that 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 group. And I think that's she's smart. If, see, again, I haven't watched the feed, so I don't know all the dynamics right now. But if she's hooked up with with Eddie, if she's tied up with Eddie, and she's tied up with the with the showmans, man, she's sitting in a, in a sweet spot. And her being HOH this week, it gives her a lot of wiggle room and a lot of, of play to even get more friends and make more deals uh, and stuff like that. So I, I think it's a good spot, man. I think she's a okay, good so, spot. Okay, so let me have you guess, since you don't know. Who do you think, have you been on Twitter? Or do you know who no. she nominated? I, I have no idea. I didn't even know the nominations they already happened. I have no okay, idea. They've happened. They've happened. Um, uh, if I were to guess, you want me to guess? I, I, I haven't. Like, I went to, you know, I had an appointment earlier, so I haven't been on to confirm. But she was saying she was going to nominate. You want me to guess? You want me to guess before you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want you to guess. Okay. If my guess, yeah. Kira and... Either Kira oh. and Kira or Kira and Kaylin. Kira and Kaylin. Okay, so is Kira Kiki. not the very Kiki? K Kiki and Kaylin. No. Kiki and Damien. Oh, and the snap. back door plan is supposedly Kaylin. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Really? I know. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I'm like, exactly. Wow, that's it. Okay. So is Damien going to be our pawn star? Uh, that'd be crazy. There's no way. This is the second time on the block. Because he's so even keeled and so quiet. Like you're going to use him as the pawn? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of okay, but that's crazy. But again, he doesn't understand the game. So I don't know if he understands the whole pawns go home. And he's a big target. And thank you, pawns go home. Yeah. But it's not like he volunteered. I mean, he's not a dumb person. He didn't sure. say, like, oh, I'll go on the block. And I want to say, and I'm actually feeling him. I think he's doing great. I think he's – I he, like him. I do, too. I like him a lot. I was wrong. I do like him as a person. He's he's pretty good guy. But I don't like that he doesn't like the, know the game enough. But I don't dislike him compared to some of these other ones. I like him. Yeah. I like yeah. his personality. Um, Kiki, she wasn't going to forewarn her. So she was getting ready and talking to Kaylin, and Kaylin was in her ear, nattering, nattering, trying to tell her what's best for her. And Kaylin, I think, does way too much talking Absolutely. and not enough listening. Like, one thing as the old person in the house, I tried to do, even though people said, you know, I talked a lot. So I, it reminds me of somebody. But, but honestly, I wasn't talking people's game and telling them their game. I purposely didn't do that, Bruno. That's bullshit. No, no, you didn't I, do that. You didn't do that. I did not do that. You I talked knew a lot. not to do that. I talked a lot. Yes, because I talk a lot. But I talked about things that were people didn't even. You didn't even fucking know that I knew what was going on in the house. Most okay, Karen, let's go back to season seven. Go, go. I'm saying. She's doing that, Bruno. That's what she's doing all the time in the feeds, like nonstop with every single person. And then they go around saying like whatever to her just to get her away from them. Like, I just don't think, I think her game's coming to an end really quick because she's rubbing people the wrong way. You cannot go in there with the mandate just to cook and clean and look after these people. I cooked my first meal for you guys on day 30. Like, don't do that. Yeah, and I missed it. That was the apple crumble, right? No, no, no. Those were the chicken fajita things. And the crumble so was that. slop, that. so whatever. Uh, anyway, anyway, go season seven. Season seven. But anyway. Fajita things. Okay. 
So, uh, yeah, see, I, I think a lot of people are going to, like you say, I think a lot of people are just going to say, yeah, 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 just to kind of whatever, stop the conversation and get out of the way. Uh, that's, what that's what they're doing. And she's becoming a bigger and bigger and bigger target because they're being mom-splained by her. Yeah. Nobody wants to be mom-splained. Being a mom of three, let them kids believe they know what's best for them. Let them do what they want. Don't mom-splain their game. Bad move. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with that. That's, uh, yeah, I, I don't see her game lasting too much longer. Time she agreed with me. You're learning. Hey, maybe you're just learning. Maybe you're just oh learning. My God, really? You're learning. You're learning. <laughs> I could grow up and be a Big Brother player just okay. like you. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so it is Kiki and Damien, and she's the backdoor option. That's what they're saying. Cool. But you know, it's going to flip flop Floaterville. This house is flip flop Floaterville on an extreme level. So, th that being said, what are your thoughts of the cast? Like, what do you think of this cast? Like, overall? You know what? Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm liking some more than others, of course, like always. I'm disliking some more than other, others, like I would. Like, I really didn't like Adam and Mark, and I still don't. Yeah. So but I like. But I like Anthony better than I thought I would. I'm really starting to like Anthony. I think his character is starting to come along. I think they're starting to show his mindset. Yes, me too. I'm thinking you're playing a pretty yeah. good game. I'm watching you, big guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking him. And he hasn't had to win anything yet, which is good. Uh, I don't know if he can. I mean, I don't want Mark to be telling us how this is his ultimate plan. And him and Dane are telling us a lot of these ultimate plans. And I don't like the kind of Big Brother player that tells us as feeders about how they're pulling the strings and yeah. manipulating and doing this. That happened in season six a lot. I don't like that. Yeah. What do you okay, what do you think of Dane's HOH? Do you think it was a good HOH? You think it, it was bad? Do you think it damaged him? You think it helped him? What do you think? I think it, I think he was a hot mess, mm -hmm. and he's very confused where he is in that house, and he's getting pulled in different directions because he's he's got a showman that he said in the Wendy segment that he likes, and who do you think that is? Is that Esty? If I were to guess, I think it would be her. That's I mean, he's not showing it. I, it's kind of weird. It's maybe, like, it, boy, talk about a down low showman and it's one sided. But I'm like, who's he like? I really like him, though. I mean, I really like him, but I just think, you know, as well, or no, you weren't HOH, were you? People's I've heads. Been really, I've been HOH. I've been HOH. Go ahead. People's heads really blow up and go in different directions, and people really get in your head. And mm -hmm. I wish she would have gotten rid of kept Mackey like he said he was. I don't think it ended up, or I wish he would have done the back door on Sam. I just, it didn't end up the way that I would have liked to seen it. And and I don't think that it ended up the way he would have liked to seen it either. Yeah, I don't think so. I, th I think it ended up, yeah. And it, I don't think he liked the way that we played out. Uh, another I thing I noticed in the feeds was he, he talks a lot, man. And when he talks... He just, anything that comes in his mind, he just says, and he starts, it's like verbal diarrhea. And it's like. He, he showed way too many people his cheat sheet. Yeah, it's I, just, yeah. I don't understand that. He's got all these different relationships and working these side alliances. I just think that he's, he's getting himself in too sticky a situation is what I'm it's seeing. It's going to crumble. On the feet. It's going to crumble. I think it's, it's going to blow. I think that. It's going to blow hard. Okay, and another thing is that we didn't get to see, and maybe they'll show it next episode, maybe they won't, but I guess supposedly after the vote, Dane and Kaylin got into this big blowout. See, now why didn't we get to see that? That The feeds were still cut. We didn't get to see that. Yeah. Now, if this all comes... And exposure and... Kira was involved in that too. Was were they not? I don't know that. I don't know. I just I, I what I heard was that uh, uh, Dane and Kaylin went at it. They were arguing. There was a big fight. Um, now this comes down to: Does the show want to protect his character or her yeah. character, whoever's whoever? I don't know who was wrong, uh, and just like it never happened. Or are they going to do it next week? Are they going to or whatever next episode? Are oh, they going to show it? And on the feeds too, he came back yesterday and said, or this morning, 
that things happen that aren't going to come out right. And I don't know what 100% because there's been so much that's been done and said. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't know if it was the dad thing or the other. There, There's about three or four of them that have made really stupid and sensitive comments, Bruno. Absolutely. Okay, and if you're Absolutely. not watching the feeds, like, you guys, they can't do that. And don't put words in other people's mouths and stuff like that. And it's like, oh. So production must have said something. They're aware that there's issues going on. It yeah. reminds me of BB-19 and BB-20 things were said. And it's like, oh, guys, no good, no good. But, again, if people are saying stuff like that on the feeds, it's because they forget the cameras are there and that's who they are. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And it's hard to hide in that house. Yeah, so who knows if they're going to show it. But anyway, yeah, like I said, supposedly some things went down. Are they going to show it? I'm hoping because they ran the HOH and we know Chelsea. I'm hoping that they're saving that for the Sunday episode. So we're going to get to see that fight on the feeds that we didn't get to see. Or the fight we missed on yeah. the feeds that we're going to get to see on the episode. And so it'll fill us in a little bit. Yeah. I'm hoping. Now... About the competition, the HOH competition, what perfect timing for a competition like that. I guess the vote kind of showed the house where everybody sat, but th there's a difference. And actually, I was watching, I watched last night's episode, the eviction episode. I was with uh, Maddie Poplett from season six and Bobby from season three. We went, uh, I went to Maddie's house and we all watched it. There was a bunch of us there. Anyway, uh, we watched it all together. So, uh, and it's funny because we were talking about it and it's like the house is already split. Everyone knows there's a split. So a competition like that, um, you know, it already shows everyone's cards. But my my argument to that is, okay, it showed the house is split. But when you're physically saying, you know, when it's a knockout competition, and I'm saying Karen yeah. and whoever, Kevin, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I am targeting you guys. I want you guys out of the competition. I don't want you guys out of the competition. There's a difference between being on the other side of a vote and actually openly saying, you two, come up here. I want one of you out. So... It was a perfect time for it because the line was drawn, and now they got to put their their mouths or their they got to put it all into action. So I thought it was a good competition. Uh, I did too. Esty was killing it. Uh, Kira was killing it. Mark I think did pretty good. There's a couple of them that did pretty good, and and it was right down to the bottom. You know, it wasn't like the last three people were on one side. It was literally you know as it was going down, it was like one number from each side, and then it, boom, it was if this if this side wins, these guys are going up. If this side wins. These guys are going up. So I liked how it just played out. I liked the competition. I thought it was perfect timing for it. I think we're yeah. going to see more mental competitions coming up simply because they don't want to see the boys win. I, I can tell you right now, production does not want to see the pretty boys in power another week. I'll how, tell you right how now. How about Karen Singh Beal? Does about, not want to see them. I don't think anybody does. Just for the sake of the show. How about, for the sake yeah. of the show. No, and, I don't want that. And, and listen, production's not stupid. They're aware that nobody wants to see that. They don't want to see it. It's not good for the show. So I'm telling you, they're going to put a competition in that's going to maybe not benefit that side, but it's it's not going to give. It's not going to be a competition that the boys, those four boys, have in the bag. It's going to be, you know, they want the other side to win for sure. Well, this next one will be endurance, I think. Probably, yeah, probably. It's got to be something along those lines, either endurance or mental or whatever it is, a craft shoot even. And I wonder if it'll be another two ways to win. I liked it. I liked that idea. I like that. Yeah, I thought it was cool. So I, I thought that was pretty neat. That's uh, awesome. Okay, is there anything else you want to touch up on, Karen? No, I got to go. Karen's got to go. Just like that, she's got to go. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we feel the love. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been great yes. to us. Um, you know, we I, I, feel we, the love. We feel the love. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for stopping in. This has been episode three. Bruno Aiello and Karen Singbeal. We're out. out. Don't forget to hit those buttons. Check it out Stop. on iTunes, all that stuff. SoundCloud, YouTube, YouTube, everything. Guys, thank you very much. We will see you next week with another recap, Peace. and I hope you're back. Peace.